Colin here to show you how to release a muscle called the diaphragm, which sits right underneath your rib cage. This muscle is your primary muscle for taking a deep breath. When you take a deep breath, it's supposed to drop down and allow your lungs to fill with air. The problem is in our society, people are under a lot of stress and they're on the go a lot. When you're under stress, this muscle oftentimes will tend to tighten because people are holding their breath more. When that happens, people then shift to breathing into their chest a lot more. So they tend to use the muscles of their front neck and upper chest in order to lift the rib cage up to breathe and to get air in their lungs. By doing that, these muscles shorten over time and tends to pull your shoulders forward and your head forward and starts to create a really bad posture that will then affect other problems. So what we want to do is we want to release this rib cage, we want to release this diaphragm, open this up and allow that diaphragm to descend the way it's supposed to. So let's go ahead and do that. What I'm going to have you do is lay on your back, have your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor just like this. You're going to be using your fingertips in order to do this release. What I'm going to have you do is take your fingertips and you're going to come up and bump up into your rib cage right here. So if you just take your fingers and you slide them up, you're going to bump into something hard. This makes an arc shape around and this is your rib cage right through here, the bottom part of it. And we're going to be going underneath the rib cage just a bit with each breath and we're then going to do a little scooping motion to then pull the diaphragm down a little bit so we're going to work this in three separate parts i'm going to work the right side the middle and then the left side i'm using both hands and all my fingers as i do this i'm going to take my fingertips and kind of curl them to get underneath that rib cage just a little bit notice my hand position and the fact that my elbows are pointed outward in order to get myself in this correct position. So from this position, what I'm going to do is take a deep breath in. And as I breathe out, I'm going to push up just a little bit under the rib cage. What you'll find is as you breathe out, there's space to get your fingertips underneath there. Now when I take my next breath in, I don't want to allow my fingers to get pushed out. I'm actually going to hold with a little pressure there so they don't get pushed out. I'm pushing up underneath my rib cage. I'm going to take a second breath. As I breathe out, you should feel as though your fingertips can get up a little bit higher underneath that rib cage. And then the third time you take that deep breath, again, don't let your fingertips get pushed out. As you breathe out, you should get up a little bit deeper. Now I want you to hold this position and just take some normal breaths and you should feel some sort of sensation up underneath there. It might feel a little bit strange because there's a lot of nerves that run in through this area. That diaphragm being tight like that can affect those nerves. So when you're getting underneath here and you're holding that position, you're doing a certain type of stretch on the diaphragm and you may feel some sort of referred pain into your low back or down into your hips. As long as it's something that's tolerable, it's fine. If it's something sharp and really painful, stop doing what you're doing. So. The next part, after you've done those three breaths and you've hung out there for just a second and just let that diaphragm stretch upward a little bit, is you're gonna take another deep breath and you're gonna do the scooping motion. The scooping motion, when you do that, it's almost like you're pulling your skin down. So I don't want you to just slide your fingers like this. You're actually gonna take a deep breath and as you breathe out, you're going to push down a little toward the floor and drag as if you're trying to drag your skin and muscle down. So if you bring it down toward your feet. And once you've done that dragging down, you're going to hold that and take another deep breath. When I say hold that, what I mean is you're going to hold your fingers firm in that position. You're not going to allow them to get pulled up as you take the deep breath. So you're gonna be holding the skin and in place like that, that allows that diaphragm to relax even more. Then you're gonna do the same thing right in the middle here, same thing on the left side. After you've done that, in order to ensure that you're really pulling that diaphragm down, we're gonna do a breathing exercise where you put one hand on top of the other, right on top of your belly button. You're gonna take a really deep breath in, but you're only gonna be breathing into your belly. So what you're looking for is the sensation of pushing your hand or your hands up to the ceiling, toward the ceiling. So you take that deep breath in. You do this three times. What you're gonna find is that it's a lot harder than it looks to do. Because most people, they're not used to breathing into their belly, they've completely given that up and they tend to breathe only into their chest. 
So as you do this over time, as you get used to releasing this, it'll become easier and easier. And you can really get that feedback just by feeling how much your belly is rising with your hand here. And that's how you release your diaphragm.